Hey guys, my name is Meats. Going to do a review on Figma Kirito. This is from the famous Sword Arts Online anime that just came out last year. A really great anime if you haven't checked that out. And it's pretty much a kind of relates to gamers out there having a virtual reality. One day we'll get there, maybe. <laughs> but here we have a really nice Figma. You can see the dual swords, some of the faces, and Kirito there. Box art on the back, poses you can uh, have them, different ones, and more. Pretty much, you can see Kirito every part of the box. <laughs> there we go, that's it for the box, and why don't we open it? And here we go. He's wearing that really nice uh, matte black uh, trench coat, uh, kind of similar to uh, Saber from Phase Zero, and I think a uh, dead master that. Uh, Textured feel really nice, and it's a uh, cut it into points there. <laughs> Pretty cool, I like it. And you know, there, in terms of articulation, it's quite articulated. Uh, I've seen reviews of it already. You know, movable hands, great since uh, it's gonna be building the swords. Um, this part here, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, it doesn't have ab articulation. That's one thing that uh, people pointed out. It's kind of hard to have him, you know, when it's crouching. Uh, I mean, for the most part, he can do dash dashing, but it's kind of hard without that ab articulation. Which they do have a great point about that. It'll be nice if there's an added one. But if you're gonna add one, it's I think aesthetically it's gonna look a little bit weird here, unless. This whole front part is a rubber, kind of like what they have here. But uh, I don't know how how will they do that. But you know, for the most part, I don't mind uh, without the upper articulation. Um, the figure itself looks great. All right, and uh, why don't we go with the uh, different faces? All right, so we have the. Kind of like his innocent uh, look, or just slightly smiling. Then uh, you have the shouting one right here. Then uh, you have one that um, it's kind of like sorry, or or ap ap apologetic look. <laughs> so you do, so you have three. Uh, I think for the most part that kind of covers um, his character. Um, I think for the most part, and this is my favorite where he's. Uh, angry and uh, pretty much you know trying to rush forward and killing enemies with dual swords <laughs> but yeah it's really nice and the next part for the hands and here's the figma tray for the hands you have an open hand right here uh, and you got uh, two pairs of hands for holding the sword one on an angle and just one uh, straight up so that's pr pretty good. Kind of nice if they have some kind of pointing hands or pointing fingers. But yeah, that's that's what we have. <laughs> now let's go over the swords. We have the Lucid Eater here, which is in uh, matte black, matches his overall uh, look. Um, do have a little bit of problem here. With, uh, you know, getting scratched once you put in the sheet, which I think it's kind of common. You do have a silver lining at the edge. You can get that the grayish on the blade itself. Quite nice. And yeah, that's it for this, this sword. Then you have the dark repulsor, which I think you got from my quest, uh, obtaining it from the dragon. And I think Elizabeth helped him uh, forge this. So another great one. It's all in a uh, green, emerald green. It's quite nice. Has a white uh, trim on the blade. Really nice handle. And uh, this one doesn't really scratch as much as the other one, since this one has a mat. <laughs> Actually, I'm just not too sure why it gets scratched. Yeah. Uh, speaking of getting scratch, um, when you put this on the double connector, you're gonna have uh, this one here, and I just had the other one. Oh, there you go. Sorry about that. So you can either uh, wield one sword for the elucidator right here, or both of them. So 
to this one, just gotta put it on. Every time I do this, uh, there's a little bit of scratch here. So, I think it's, it's just gonna happen. I wish this was a little bit uh, wider in diameter. And the other one, right here. So just be careful. I mean, it's it, it's it's bound to happen. And uh, this just mounts on in the back on the top connector. The other one is for the Figma stand. And uh, there we go. Maybe have to kind of turn it a little bit. And there you have it. Push it up. There you go. Alright, already put the sword there uh, from for the hand because it's slightly hard to do that. Slightly. <laughs> um, not, not, not really, but here's the other one. Basically, um, <clears throat> from what I heard from other reviews, uh, as a caution, uh, this part here is kind of fragile. You would think that you can detach it uh, so e easily put the hand there, but I think they just kind of fuse it all together. Since uh, you have the effect part, which I'll show in a bit, that will weigh down. It might break the small peg right there. So, what I do is get one of the stylus or any kind of long uh, peg, uh, kind of exercise that hand to open it and just put it on and just be uh, careful, just hold it from here. And I'll put this in a bit, but uh, let's go work with the effect parts. This is for the elucidator, you get this really nice blue. You will see the sword uh, kind of like engraved or way you put it on yep so let's go try that it is a little bit heavy and I'm not gonna put it all the way but uh, he can hold it fine but after a while uh, obviously when the joint gets uh, too loose it's just gonna fall down but yeah um, I don't see myself uh, using this effect part as much and I just don't like uh, putting something on this it's gonna wear out the paint some more on the sword Likewise, uh, just gonna swap out the hands. Du, 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 du. There we go. Actually, maybe I should have put the bullet at the same time, but nah, we'll just do one at a time. Same thing for the dark repulsor. Got about this nice effect part also, and. And your mind can hold it up for the time being, but uh, eventually it's gonna weigh down. You know, what, what the heck. Let's put both of them, see if we can uh, hold them at the same time. It's like waving two flags. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so here's Kirito next to Saber. It's actually not too bad of a shot. And they're both dual wielding, two swords. <laughs> And all wearing black mat, so that's really nice. Actually, can't wait to get Asuna and try it out. Maybe I'll swap the heads out. But yeah, they're matching colors. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my review. I hope I covered for the most part. Otherwise, there are great reviewers out there who already reviewed this uh, Figma. Um, it's one of those. Uh, it's kind of rare since it's a male Figma and only get a handful of them. I think for my collection, I have. Figma Link and Kid Icarus, uh, Griff, Griffith, and Guts. So, so far, I only have those as male characters, otherwise, I have quite a lot of female. Well, pretty much Figmas are kind of geared toward female uh, anime characters or even game characters. So, yeah, th there we go. <laughs> um, I highly recommend him, especially if you're a big fan of sword arts online or you're pretty much just like swords in general. Yep, so there we go. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, or any comments, please leave them down below. I'll try my best to answer that for you. Otherwise, uh, tune in for the next review. Again, Asuna next month. Uh, can't wait for that one. Yeah, so there you go. That's my review. Until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.